This is the tarp tent notch lie made from Dyneema or uh, Cuban fibre. Uh, I'm going to show you the modifications that I've done. So that's it up. Uh, ground's a bit uneven here, but it's only for this demonstration. So it doesn't matter. Fibre stick on tie outs, one there, one there, two on the corresponding side of the sidewall for windy conditions. Uh, got some Dyneema cord and some uh, line locks which all fit into place. Make it a bit more tense when the wind's blowing. It's getting a bit windy here. Uh, right, I've uh, modified the, uh, the tie end. Uh, points tr from one peg, which used to come down like that, uh, to a two peg configuration, which makes it a lot more stable, uh, gives it a lot more strength, and stops any uh, movement coming in of these side poles if it does get windy, uh, which apparently um, uh, causes a problem them coming in especially with the tensing of the one peg down there, they do pull in, but this stops. I bought four more of these MSR carbon core stakes, which cost an eye-watering fortune, but are super lightweight. Um, I had to add the, uh, the cord on the top, which helps uh, to pull out titanium pegs for the side lines. So I added some Dyneema loops to make it easier to peg out. The door had a spare loop here which uh, I've added a extra line lock side release buckle um, which connects down to there. Now I can open that up for ventilation if needed. They also clips easily. I've sewn in a bungee cord to uh, just pull out the upper end of the bathtub uh, so there's a bit more room inside. And also added these uh, cam clamps so it makes it easier to fit on to the pole. You can see the difference where I've not tied up the upper end of the bathtub yet to this side. I've sewn in these cam snaps so I can clip in a pocket because the pockets on the tarp tent notch is not the best. Things just fall out during the night. Um, with it being this sort of triangular affair, uh, things just slip out the bottom. There's one I use which I keep uh, odds and ends in in my rucksack generally, but uh, it just clips in. It's actually out of a Osprey wash bag. That's another one I use, which is just some sort of net pocket with a zip, uh, which I keep my tap tent repair kit in. These are the door securers, which um, Although they're a great idea, they've got magnets, uh, they sometimes come up adrift, uh, so I just keep that clip, which keeps it all in place. Uh. I've uh, fitted a line across the top with a line lock, usual thing for just hanging gear, uh, drying socks and so on. Pull cord on the inner zip of each door. Makes it a bit easier to pull. The inner door ties. I've uh, sewn one of the loops and added a toggle, which makes it much easier and secure. It started raining, so I'll wrap this up and finish it at home. There's my tent drying out. This is the other thing that I was going to show, which is my crown sheet, made from Tyvek. I've added these loops at the end 
to tie onto the tent on each sort of corner not really necessary because it's quite stiff material uh, it's like a, a laminate but very tough lightweight the best of colour for uh, ground sheets white on the other side uh, it's the same stuff that uh, tarp tent tents sell on their website if you were to order it from them but this came from eBay uh, a guy sells it uh, he's got a big roll of it so he's selling it off uh, in whatever length you want some of these are my ideas some are pinched from other videos and blogs that are available online um, I hope you like them and I hope they come in useful before I finish there's one more tip I can give which is to add some of these uh, seam sealer blobs uh, on the bottom side of my sleep mat which um, helps it uh, be a little bit anti-slippery <laughs>